This is an attempt to describe one of many roles and functions of the elusive modulo module and reactor. The modulo module has baffled me for quite some time, and scrolling over the module to see the definition of its function has often led to further confusion. The modulo module may often reside deep within the structure of a reactor ensemble, which may leave the user with an unclear understanding of its role or function within the ensemble. The modulo module often plays an internal role within a reactor ensemble. So what is an example of using the modulo module that can be clearly shown to the user? In this tutorial, I will demonstrate a function of the modulo module with an accumulator, which will clearly identify a scenario or example of using the modulo module. So first, bring in an accumulator from events processing. Create a control on the set input and connect a button to the input of the module from the panel menu. For practical purposes, right click on the accumulator module and set it to mono so that you will not see a red X when you connect a meter module to the accumulator's output. Bring in the meter module from the panel input and connect it to the output of the accumulator. Double click on the meter's properties and enable always active. This is very important. In the appearance properties of the meter, deselect the picture and enable the value of the meter to be displayed. Now rearrange the panel. I'll change the maximum step size and set to 100 for demonstration purposes. So now we come to the point to begin demonstrating what the role of the modulo module will be in relation to the accumulator. The accumulator simply counts up and up and up. I can use the set button to reset that so that the accumulator begins to count from zero again. Or I can use the set button to start counting from a specified numerical value. The accumulator starts counting from 22. If I set it to 32, the accumulator will begin counting from 32. Or I can set this back to zero again so that the accumulator will begin to count from zero again. Now this is where the modulo module comes in. The modulo module is crucial in terms of building sequences in reactor. The modulo module is used to restrict sequence length specified to the sequencer itself. So when I connect the modulo to the accumulator, you will see its function in action. and set the modulo unit to mono so that you will not see a red X on the output of the meter. Reorganize the panel. So let's assume that we are speaking in sequencing terms where the sequencer is set to 16 steps. The modulo unit will restrict the accumulator and not let it go past 16. It restricts the value. So as I count up and up, Modulo unit will not let the accumulator go past 16. It resets itself. It counts up and up, but it will not go past 16. Here at set, I can set the accumulator to start at 3, but the modulo unit again will not let the accumulator go past 16. It will restart itself 
and count from wherever I specify to count from and not let it go past 16. This is crucial when you are building a sequencer in Reactor. The accumulator is already at 17, but Modulo does not go past 16. So, this is not a comprehensive tutorial concerning the Modulo module, but simply a conceptual one. So if you were ever wondering about the function of the Modulo module, this is at least one indication of what it can be used for. So what does Modulo do? Modulo said, no, you no go past three. Modulo restricts the value to not go past three. Modulo is used to restrict the sequence length.